If you're looking for work, there's some good news. A lot of places around Bakersfield looking to hire right now, especially restaurants. Yeah, more people are going out to eat as pandemic restrictions ease up a bit, making it tough for local eateries to keep up. Aaron Roney joins us now to explain. Aaron? David Shell, for many folks, a, retor a return to normal might mean going out to eat. So a lot of restaurants are trying to fill positions as they try to keep up with a new demand. Additional uh, servers, uh, hosts, cashiers, expediter, cooks, uh, even dishwashers. Frugati stayed fully staffed this past year, yet they need more help than ever before. We're still short some, so we're still trying to add a few more to kind of get caught up. Sales for the Italian restaurant shot up as the orange chair allowed more freedom indoors, but they needed help managing something else. We started looking into the future and realized, you know what, we're going to need some more people to be able to handle the additional takeout that we're doing. Takeout orders remain high as many still aren't ready to go back to inside dining. That could change come this weekend. I was just about to ask for Mother's Day, do you all feel prepared for it? Like you're going to have enough people coming up for it? You're never prepared for Mother's Day. But for those looking to celebrate mom with dinner, keep this in mind. It's going to be crazy. You know, if you're going out on Mother's Day, just be prepared. It's going to take a little longer than it probably would under normal circumstances. So hopefully people take that into consideration in, and uh, in their decision as to going out or not going out. Something else to keep in mind, restaurants, food trucks, wineries, bars, breweries, and other eligible places, you can now apply for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund starting today. This is to support those businesses who were impacted by the pandemic. For more information, we'll have a link up on our website. Live in studio, Aaron Roney, Eyewitness News. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.